Hello, and welcome to a Lorem installation video. This video is designated for Lorem 4.0, the final chapter created by Biggie Boss. Lorem is a next generation based Requiem mod list using the latest and greatest mods released on Nexus. A few requirements that you need to know about is that this list will only work on the anniversary edition of the Steam version of Skyrim. This list is not supported on the GOG or Linux operated versions of Skyrim. A big thing to understand is, is that the system specs, which the readme will be linked down below, are pretty higher than a lot of people's systems. These are things that you need to keep in mind if you intend to download and install Lorem. A crucial thing to know is that Lorem is required to be installed on an internal SSD or M.2 drive. This list will not work on an external drive whatsoever. To, if, you're, if you're not confident about what your drives are, you can go to the Optimized Drives and Defragmenter. This will tell you what each of your drives are, but it's up to you to know whether or not they are internal or not. Another thing to note is that Lorem will not work on a HDD drive. It must be on an SSD or an M.2. The first thing to keep in mind is that Lorem requires 650 gigabytes for the initial installation. This can be lessened to around 300 gigabytes after the download is complete, but Wabbajack requires a bit of headroom, so the actual installation size is around 700 gigabytes to be successful. The first of the mandatory steps to installing Lorem is setting up the page file. I'll be putting the link to the website here in the description, going over how to do it if I go too quickly. But simply, you want to access the Advanced System Settings menu. You want to go into the Advanced tab. Into the Performance section, you want to go into Settings. In the advanced settings of performance, you want to go into virtual memory, click change. Then you want to find your fastest drive, and then you want to click custom size settings, and you want to set it to 40960 megabytes for the minimum and maximum size. This will set a 40 gigabyte page file, and keep in mind that this 40 gigabyte page file does not matter how much RAM you have, this is a mandatory step regardless of how much RAM is on your system. The next step I'll be going over is your Windows antivirus and your Lorem folder pathing for Wabbajack and Lorem. So what I personally recommend is, is creating a folder for Wabbajack, a folder for the Lorem installation, and a folder separate from the Lorem folder for the Lorem downloads. You can name these folders whatever you like, but this is the simplest way to have this done. The next step you want to do is go into your Windows security into the virus and threat protection and you want to temporarily go to virus and threat protection settings and disable the real time protection. Some of the files during the initial download will get flagged as Trojans. The number one example is DinoLoad. It is safe, not a Trojan, and it is just Windows flagging the error. The next step you want to do outside of setting your real-time protection to off is come down here to exclusions. There will be Windows security pop-ups. You will want to add exclusions to the folders that you created, including the Wabajack folder itself. So select the Wabajack folder, add it, the Lorem installation folder, the Lorem download folder, and the vanilla Skyrim Steam location. And a reminder, after the Lorem installation download is complete, to re-enable your real-time protection. Next, we'll be going over third-party antivirus. So, Malwarebytes, Bitdefender, Norton Anti-Security, Webroot, and any, uh, like McAfee, any antivirus you can think of does not play nice with Wabajack, and it does not play nice with modded Skyrim. Even if you set your exclusions in these external programs, it still will not work with this installation. They will hook into the file area and quarantine files without your permission, even if they don't flag any of the files, they still hook in and prevent it from working as intended. The next step I'll be covering is unlinking OneDrive from your computer, as this will hook into the file areas and prevent the installation from working properly. You simply need to go into your account settings, unlink OneDrive, and that is all. Bear in mind, you also have to go into Task Manager and go into Startup Apps and disable OneDrive as a startup program. Alrighty, moving on to the actual Skyrim installation. The first thing that is important to understand is 
it cannot be installed inside program files. This is absolutely mandatory and the installation will not work if it is installed there. If you do not understand what I'm saying is that on your main drive, your C drive, all Steam downloads are default path through the program files folder. This will not work for the installation. If you only have one drive, I will be linking the Steam library tool in the description, which will teach you how to move it into another folder. Keep in mind for people doing this step is that you must fully close Steam. Closing Steam just by pressing this X here will not work. You need to come down here into the taskbar and close Steam here as well. You also need to come into Task Manager and go into uh, Processes, and you need to find anything that has Steam or Steam Client and make sure those are fully closed. The next step you need to do is you need to go into the Skyrim Special Edition, go into its properties, go into Updates, and you need to select Wait Until I Launch the Game. This will prevent Skyrim from automatically updating as we do not launch Skyrim through Steam. The next step is go into the installed files. Lorem requires a clean installation of Skyrim. If you did any tweaking or modifying of your Skyrim installation in the past, you need to delete everything inside of the Skyrim folder and go into My Games folder and delete the Skyrim folder there as well. Without deleting the My Games folder, then the installation will not be clean. After doing so, it'll prompt Steam to re-download the files. If it does not, you can come in here into the Verify File Integrity and this will re-download all this missing files. The next step you want to do is simply launch Skyrim. You want to let it, it's going to have a pop-up that will have detecting your hardware info. You just press OK. You don't need to swap any of these settings. You can fully ignore. Press play. Skyrim will boot. Once Skyrim boot, there'll be a Creation Club download menu right here. Do not alt tab during this menu, as Bethesda's download installer isn't the best. And if you are alt tabbed out during this process, it will skip downloads. Downloads that you miss, you can come over here into the Creation menu. You can press the O key and press Download All Own Creation Club Creations. As a reminder, Lorem requires the anniversary edition of Skyrim. Now that all the Creation Club content is done, we are finally ready to move on to the last step, the prerequisites. Install C++ and .NET runtime from step one of the pre-installation. These are absolutely mandatory to have Lorem function properly and to complete the install successfully. As a heads up, that every time Windows updates, there is a decent chance that these will break. So it is best to keep them around. And if you update Windows, I would preemptively uninstall and reinstall and then restart your PC. After downloading these, you must restart your PC. Now we're finally ready to download and run Webajack. Webajack is the program used to install Lorem. It is an automatic installer as long as you have Nexus Premium. If you do not have Nexus Premium, then you will have to manually press each of the downloads on each of the mods during the installation. What you're going to want to do is press the download button and have the file download. Then you want to put it into the Wabajack folder we created earlier and run Wabajack. It'll automatically check for new versions and install them. It'll automatically open once it's done. Or you can open into the Wabajack folder and run the exe from the version that it installed. The first thing you want to do is go into the settings and you want to log into Nexus Mods with your account. Whether or not you have premium, either way you still need to log into Nexus. Once you have logged into Nexus, you'll want to browse lists. You want to search for Lorem and this is where the actual installation begins. This is the pre-installer file. You want to press download and install and it is a 3.5 gigabyte file that it will download. If you run into the issue where after about 10 minutes that this download bar isn't going anywhere, then you can press Windows and R key and type percent local app data percent. Then you will want to come and find the Wabajack folder and you will want to delete the entire folder, restart your PC, and then try again if this does not make any progress.
once you get past that screen, you'll get to the installation location. The top line is where you want to path the lorem installation to, where your installation will be, where you will launch the list and play the game. In the folders we created earlier, you want to select the lorem folder. The downloads folder will automatically path to create a folder inside of that called the lorem slash downloads. I do not recommend this. I recommend having your download folder outside of it. This will guarantee that Wabajack does not repeat downloads of any mods and it will protect your downloaded folders in case you wanted to keep them. Now it's time to begin the downloads. You simply press the download button in the bottom right corner and it will begin installing all the mods. Keep in mind there is 4,052 mods to install and it's around 350 gigabytes of files. This will take time, but if you notice during the installation that if Wabajack does not make any progress, like if it, my download said zero a second here and none of the bars are moving, it is likely hung up. Give it five or 10 minutes because it might be frozen on startup and repeat the download. It will pick up where it left off. It will not repeat download anything it's already properly installed. If you run into any sort of error during your installation, the first thing I recommend is going back into local app data and deleting the Wabajack folder. This will also reset the download paths in Wabajack, so make sure to reset them. If you run into any additional errors that you cannot solve during your installation, I highly recommend joining the Lorem Discord. It is quite easily found through the Discover feature. You simply just search Lorem and you'll be able to find the server. You need to read every last bit of the support channel, but you'll be able to gain access to the basic help where someone will help you with the installation. Once the installation is complete, you simply need to go into the Lorem folder that you created during the installation. And near the bottom, you should find the modorganizer.exe. If there is not an exe file in here, you need to rerun Wabajack until one pops up in here. Once you open the mod manager, you will have the options between the ultra profile and the default profile. When you're swapping between profiles, you have to come down here to the very bottom of the mod organizer and right click, press clear overwrite. This will delete all the temporary caches generated during launch, profile swaps, and EMB changes. There's a few things to go over now that you've successfully downloaded Lorem. The first one being it's coming up here to the top, pressing set CPU affinity, and you want to press OK. It's going to set it to some sort of number, and you just press OK. I am not on the latest version of Lorem, but on the latest version of Lorem, the active mod count is around 3,720-ish on the Ultra Profile. If your number is nowhere near that, then you likely have something wrong with your installation and you need to rerun Wabajack. Moving on, it's time to set your optional mods. After selecting the profile that is right for you, down here near the bottom, uh, you can select between the EMB options provided by the list. I highly recommend Cabbage or EMB of the Elders, but fair warning, Elders is one of the heaviest EMB options. You can pick and choose between, but make sure you come down here to the bottom and clear your overwrite after launching the game. You only need to clear it once in between launches if you're swapping profiles, EMBs. If you're on ultra wide, then you have selection of mods. If you're on 21 by 9 ultra wide, you simply enable every single one of these mod options. If you're on 32, you enable these mod options and disable the 16 by 9 widgets in optional. The next thing we'll go over is the master any file. So there's this file called lorem mcm and any file. This is the master file that will overwrite most other innies and files within the list. Change your display settings. You want to come over here to SSE display tweaks and you want to input whatever, I may scroll past it, whatever your resolution is if you want to use this as your master file. Or you can come up here to the top, press the jigsaw, press the any editor, which mine got pulled up into a different monitor. Hang on one second. And you can go to Skyrim Preferences, scroll down to Display, and you can set your height and width for your monitor resolution. Lorem by default is set to borderless full screen. Uh, one last thing that'll add on to the display tweaks is that if there is a hashtag in front of the setting, it is not active. You must delete the hashtag to have it active. And congratulations. After doing all the setting tweaks, you can launch Lorem. You simply make sure Lorem selected and press run. It'll take a long time for the first boot. 
anywhere from five to 10 minutes. After you've played Lorem for a little while, I recommend two to three hours, you can come back and delete the download folder if you need the space, bringing the installation size down to about 300 gigabytes. The next step I'll be going over is for the people trying to update Lorem. You simply need to come into the mod manager, press this little folder icon, go to open my pro profiles folder. You wanna select whether your default or ultra to the saves folder, and you wanna to come to your PC, and you want to make a copy of this entire folder. This will make sure that all of your saves are protected during update in case Wabbajack doesn't play nice. Then you simply need to reopen Wabbajack and select your file paths and let it run. But be sure not to have Mod Manager open while doing that. There is a small chance during update that Wabbajack will reinstall the entire list, hence us making a backup of those saves. But to protect this, I highly recommend downloading Wabbajack version 3.7.5.3. It is pretty easy to install. We simply want to go back to wherever we were doing the Wabbajack installation. And inside that folder that you created, you want to name it 3.7.5.3. .3, and you want to download the .zip file. And once that file is downloaded, you want to extract all and you want to set the file path to wherever you made that 3.7.5.3 folder and you want to have it extract into it. And make sure during the update that you have the mod organizer fully closed. Inside the extract folder near the bottom, you will find the wabbajack.exe file, you simply run it and repeat the same steps as earlier, search for Lorem and initiate the download. And we will apply the same steps as earlier that if this download bar does not move after about 10 minutes to open the local app data folder, delete the Wabbajack folder, restart your PC and try again. Once that part is downloaded, you simply press the download mod list button. It will pull up the Lorem Read me, and you need to set your file path. The installation will be this top line right here, and the bottom line will be the download folder. And then you simply click the overwrite button and press go. This overwrite button will prevent Wabbajack from deleting any of the existing folders, only repairing what it needs to, fully protecting your installation. 